Alright guys, I'm just waiting for my drain batteries to charge and I thought I'd make this video because I, I've actually shot this video before and I wasn't sure whether I should post it or not but then I thought actually I need to rephrase some of the things I said and make it more easy to understand. So the original video was going to be titled something like avoid negative people or get negative people out of your life or something like that. Right, but I didn't really explain exactly what I meant, so I'm just going to start again and record this whole video again. So, in my life in general, what I try and do is if somebody is being negative, if somebody is constantly criticizing things, whether that's you know through jealousy or whether that's just them not agreeing with what you're doing, these people are not helping you in any way. So, in my opinion, you should cut them out of your life. Now, that is not to say that you should cut everybody who's depressed or sad out of your life because that's not what I'm saying at all. Those people actually need your help and support more than any other type of person. What I am saying is if there are people who have no real reason to be negative or, criti or critical about what you're doing, but they just don't like what you're doing, maybe they're jealous, maybe they're just annoyed that they can't do it themselves, or maybe they just like picking arguments with you, those people are a negative energy. You should avoid them at all costs because they are going to sap your energy and creativity and inspiration and give you nothing really in return. Whenever I encounter these types of people in my life, usually it's somebody in passing, like it's a stranger or somebody I've just met. Maybe it's like an acquaintance or somebody I know, like a friend of a friend. And it will usually start with, I'll tell them maybe a bit about what I'm doing. They'll latch onto one part of that like maybe the fact that I'm vegan or I don't know that I'm trying to grow my hair or whatever it is, I don't know, the fact that I work for myself and they'll latch onto a part of that and then they might start picking holes in it. Like they might say, oh, well, you can't be vegan because you'll be deficient in so-and-so or, you know, we need meat or whatever the case is. They'll start criticizing. It doesn't have to be the veganism thing. It can, it can be anything. Maybe they don't think that working for yourself is as secure as getting a job and going down the path of having a career, right? Lots of people think that way. Whatever they start picking holes in, if they have no real reason to do that, if they're just sort of lash, lashing out at you negatively because they either can't do the thing you're doing themselves, they don't understand the thing, or they're not willing to understand, then it's ignorant negativity. It's not really founded on anything logical or worth listening to. It's just based on their emotional reaction to what you're doing. That is a negative energy. Those are negative people, and they should be avoided at all costs. If I approach some, if I meet somebody new and they tell me that they are doing a particular thing, the last thing I would do is instantly criticize them or instantly be negative. I would always learn more about what they're doing and understand the thing before making any sort of judgment. But not everyone is like that. And so I feel like if you're, if you're going to meet negative people or even have them in your life, you should avoid meeting them all the time. They say that we're the average of the five people we spend the most time with. If you spend all of your time with these negative people, with people that are criticizing and, and struggling to accept what you're doing, it will make it harder to do. And it will just bring you down, it will give you less energy, it will make it harder to achieve the things you're trying to achieve. So yeah, I mean, obviously everybody has one or two friends, maybe more, that are depressed or sad, and that's fine. People are allowed to be depressed, that's not what I'm saying. What I'm saying is if people are deliberately picking holes in what you're doing and not supporting you, maybe don't cut them out of your life immediately because, you know, maybe you're friends with these people, maybe they've been in your life a long time. But try and lessen the contact because you need contact most with positive, uplifting, inspiring people. That is what's going to help you achieve your goals, make you feel the best and make you feel happy. If you're constantly mixing with negative people, no matter how long you've known them, and no matter how you know them, it's going to bring you down. And you don't really need that. Life's too short for that sort of stuff. So, so what I try and do is if somebody's being constantly negative in my life, constantly tearing down my ideas, not supporting me, being a, a hater, I guess you could say, then I will slowly limit my contact with that person. Or maybe it's like you reply to the messages slower, maybe you just don't meet up with them. But in general, if they really care about you, or if they really want to be your friend, or if they like you, then they wouldn't criticize you that strongly. They would support you. Now, there is an important distinction here, okay? Healthy, logical criticism is very important. I think everybody needs a critic. Everybody needs that one friend who says, the sort of the realist, I guess you could say, that one person who says, well, have you thought about this? Or what if this happens? That is a healthy friendship to have and that is going to be useful because it makes you think of things that maybe you otherwise wouldn't have thought about. Maybe they've seen something you've missed, right? 
Say if you have this new brand new business idea and your friend says, well, hold on, what if this happens? What if your supplier changes their regulations and whatever the case may be, I don't know. They tell you things you may have missed otherwise. That is useful. Whereas if in that same situation, you're trying to build a business, okay, and you've got a friend that says, that won't work, you, you, know, you need to get a job. You have to be lucky to, to get success. That won't work, that's been done before. You should just keep your job. These, this is not really support, this is either jealousy or just ignorant criticism. They don't really know why they're against your idea, they just know they don't like it. Whereas if you've had a friend who's been in that industry and they've done what you are trying to do and then they say that might not work because of this, that's helpful criticism, that's supportive, constructive criticism. And you should keep those people around because they care about you and they want to help you. But negative people don't really have a place in my life. And that's just a choice that I've made. I'm just, I'm, I'm a lot happier as a result of it. So yeah, this has been kind of a rant video, I guess, but I'm working on some new things that I'm gonna be doing. And quite frankly, I'm just waiting for my drone battery to charge. <laughs> so see you next time, guys, done.